Episode 7 of my hardcore survival diary starts off with me figuring out that raw iron is basically just iron ore and that blast furnaces apparently don't exist anymore. So that's a pain. Having spent literally four minutes verifying that, yep, there's definitely no blast furnaces anymore, I've filled up a bucket with water and took it down into the mine to make obsidian for a nether portal before I found a greengrocer who promptly made himself scarce. I saw this lava thingy in the weirdly generated ravine and decided it was probably more useful than the water. I decided to go upstairs and craft an iron pickaxe so I wasn't wasting my diamond one. When I got there I was met by the tax man who must have realised he was at the wrong property because he seemed to leave in a hurry. One iron pickaxe later I was back in business, but don't tell the tax man that because if he hears he might come and try and charge me corporation tax or something, okay? Having completely lost sight of the video's objective, I decided to mine down to diamond level. Then I came across a massive hole. Thankfully I put a torch down just in time, otherwise I would have fallen into it and the series would have been over. Mining down into the big dark hole felt a lot like episode 2 or 3 where I found the huge cave and then almost got killed in my own home by a baby zombie. Needless to say, I was very careful to use my shield because the last thing I want is to get shot off the stairs and then blown up. After I realised the skeleton could very, very easily shoot me, I decided to run away. I'm not sure exactly what I planned on doing, but you can see the exact moment I realised I had a bucket of lava and sprinted back to the cave. Now, it seemed a fantastic idea at the time, but unfortunately I failed to consider that the mob's pathfinding would make them avoid walking into this. Combine this with the fact that they were all bored and didn't really care about fighting me anymore, the lava was really only good for lighting the cave up. Then this happened. The fact that I'm still alive after that is remarkable. Having repaired the stairs and blocked up the tunnel, I left for some reason, and when I returned, I was immediately attacked. However, I had a chance to kill the spider and get string for a bow, but that didn't happen. Instead, I got nothing but the bones from the skeleton and the creeper bearing down on me. I must have gone into cardiac arrest for a good 15 seconds while I ran away from him, but this preceded one of the highest IQ moves I think I've ever done. Once I'd located him exactly, I used the lava to burn him and a zombie alive. I have to admit, I got a pretty sick feeling of gratification from doing that, but going back down the stairs and waiting for the lava to disperse, it was like being stuck behind a sloth on an escalator. I piled up to try and block off this secondary tunnel and attracted some attention from a local who wanted to inform me about some potholes that he wanted filling in. Me doing what I do best, I completely forgot that I was only meant to block off the tunnel, and then I decided to explore the cave behind it instead. I came back to my senses once I'd realised the imminent danger I was in and mined back to the stairs to try and allow for a controlled explosion of the creeper, which went exactly as you'd expect. But if that was the price that had to be paid, I was more than happy to pay it. Unfortunately, he didn't take cash payments as he was now dead. I designated this pool of lava as being a very good place to mine some obsidian, but the eagle-eyed viewers among you would realise one very important thing. I don't actually have any more water. And just to compound that, this footage of me completely missing the four diamonds to the left of me makes me look about as dense as a bowl of custard. In my infinite wisdom, I chose probably the most dangerous water source block to collect from, as it was guarded by a creeper. However, I needed content, so it was necessary. Rather than just getting the water and going, I decided to light up the area to see if I could... Okay, we're not doing that. Actually, no, we need more footage. Right. Gordon Bennett! One trip to the toilet later and I've got the bucket of water for the lava. Also, if anyone could tell me how I didn't see this skeleton at all before he shot me, that'd be very helpful. I could hear a skeleton moving around, so I was reluctant to start mining just yet. Instead, I wanted to try and clear the area first. This was a mistake! Kill him! Oh no! Run away! Oh heavens! Run away! Run away quickly! I threw my sword on the ground by accident because I'm an idiot who pressed Q instead of W. And this wasn't ideal at all because I was about to be attacked by two battalions worth of zombies. Oh no, oh this is bad, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh! 
and as if by magic I find all the obsidian that I need. And that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the end of this episode. Join me next time where we'll probably go to the nether because I can't think of anything else to do and more than likely get ripped to pieces. But apart from that, my name's been Simon and I'll see you guys in the next video.